Okay, so I'm going to try and record a quick video on how to do this tail shaft center bearing. It's probably not going to work very well because that camera is not really a good video camera. But anyway, this is a naked one as you can see. It's torn halfway around. It's still sitting there, but you can pretty much just rip it off at this point. It's not going to do much. And it's going to be replaced anyway, so, so now it's out of the way. So it separates in here. So you hold the, uh, the uni in the vise. I just want to belt this out this way. So, big hammer, and hope for the best. See, it's already starting to separate in here. Which is what you want. Good. from there. The mark's not very clear but it's okay I can mark that back again. Yeah that's fine. I didn't mark it very clear but you can when you do yours. Um, next piece is to belt that off. That's the rest of the bearing. This is the piece that I think you're supposed to cut but I can't be bothered and I can't really see the need for it so I'm just going to use a big chisel and a hammer to see if I can knock that off. Get that out of the way first. Easier said than done, so. Mm, might have to do that a little differently. Like that. that might work a bit better. Let's try that. It tries to spin on you, that doesn't help. Yeah, that's starting to move. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a little bit of a gap now where the bearing's starting to separate. So if I give that a bit more of a whack, we should be in business. Whew. A little bit more. A little more. So shit's falling down. Alright. It's coming off pretty well. Just needs a whack in the other direction and it should be free. So I'll just flip that over. There's an O-ring underneath there, but it's sort of bigger than that anyway, so Let's make sure there's no shit underneath it. I don't know what the O-ring's for. Let's see how it protects anything. There you go. If I won't get any closer, that camera won't focus, so there's your bearing, and there's what's left of the rubber, wherever the other half is. Like so. And that's a new one. One piece. Wonderful. Go straight on like that. The cut piece here goes into the cut piece of the tail shaft. So you can't get it wrong, it only goes one way. The only thing you need to worry about is the alignment of the tail shaft itself. So I'm going to switch this part of the shaft around. So the mark I left for alignment earlier is on top. I'm going to have to do that later anyway. So. Now's as good a time as any. Now 
Now that won't go on. You can probably start it by hand, but it's not going to go any further than that. But I've got a perfectly good tile shaft to hit it on with. Same with this, it's not going to really go on by hand. Ow. But you can start it. Now I don't want to wreck the front of the tail shaft by hitting on it. The last one I did had a shit spline on it, so... I'm going to hit it with a piece of wood in between. That probably won't do much, but... Slowly but surely. Pretty much done. I reckon that's making a different note. I'd be pretty confident to say that's on. But I do want to give it a little finishing tap just to make sure. It's looking pretty good to me. So, 